never see healthier cattle than cattle that are outside, whether it's spring, summer, fall, or winter. They, ventilation is key for cattle health, and there's no better ventilation than a nice breeze. Uh, Dr. Quinn Heinekel uh, grew up just outside of Greensburg, Pennsylvania, about 40 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. We've always been a stalker slash feeder operation where we've bought mostly smaller calves, anywhere from three to 500 pound. We've grown those calves uh, both in the stalker phase and also in the feedlot phase. So it, it gives us a way where we can get those animals healthy before putting them into the feedlot for the final finishing phase. There's nothing healthier than a cow that's out under the blue sky on green grass. In this part of the country, a lot of the land is not suitable for farming, so um, it gives us a way that we can utilize some marginal land uh, by growing grass. Cattle are very uniquely suited that they can utilize grass uh, more so than really any other animal can. So they're able to use basically an inedible source of carbohydrate and protein in grass and change it to edible protein being beef. Grass is cheap feed. So the cattle perform very well on grass and a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of grain supplement and uh, a trace mineral salt. Rotational grazing is a great way to fully utilize the grass that you have available to you because you're able to graze that area very heavily down to you know about oh, a couple, three inches from the ground and then pull the cattle off and that gives the grass time to rest and regrow. Uh, you full, more fully utilize the grass but from a veterinary standpoint um, it's good because it helps to control parasitism. You know the cattle are on that pasture and they, they, they uh, you know, pass manure all over the place which can be a source of reinfestation with parasites. Well, you pull them off of there, and then the sun will dry out the manure and potentially kill all those parasite eggs. So it's a way to really cut down the parasite load in the cattle. As you move those cattle from trap to trap, they do learn to follow you. So when it does come time to gather everybody, those cattle get trained. And when you wave the feed bag or you holler, they know what you're doing and they'll come to you. If you have a producer that's somewhat close and they're looking for a place to turn out some stalker calves, Custom grazing is becoming a big deal. I mean, there are guys like us that are always chasing grazing deals, some place to turn cattle out to grow them. So either way, you know, if you've got some underutilized land, I mean, there's definitely profit there. The biggest health issue that you run into with incoming cattle is uh, pneumonia. That's called shipping fever because normally when cattle are shipped, it's a stress. And anytime an animal or a person is stressed, it's a, it suppresses the immune system sets them up they could potentially get sick. Other problems that you can get into when they eat that lush green grass in the spring, it's usually low in magnesium. Now the way you counteract that is with high magnesium minerals. Um, so it's a well-known problem, it, it can be dealt with, but it's just another potential uh, issue. And you know, if you're not on top of it, if you're dealing with a group of cattle, I mean, you can, you can run into a wreck if you're not careful. And, and you know, your death loss can be you know, extremely high and, and all the profit of your whole endeavor can be gone. Vaccination upon arrival is usually not the best idea because the animals are stressed, they're not going to respond to the vaccine. The ideal scenario is to give those animals vaccinations when they're in their home environment or someplace where they're comfortable, they're not stressed, the immune system will respond fully. And the reason of giving them precondition before they move is that that way when those animals are moved and they are stressed, the immunity is already established in them so that they can fight off those little viruses and bacteria that can make them sick. The main vaccinations that we give here, we give a five-way modified live viral vaccine. That covers the five main causes of viral pneumonia in cattle. We also give a clostridial vaccine which will cover for black leg and overeating disease. We worm them with a pour on dewormer that will take care of both internal and external parasites. We do vaccinate for pink eye and uh, put fly tags in their ears to try and cut down on flies. You need to at least have some place where you can gather the cattle. You need to have some sort of a corral facility. You know, whether you feed them in there and they get used to coming in and out so that you can catch them, either to treat a sick one or when you load them out. You know, you need to have some place to catch them. And ideally, 
that larger area goes into a smaller catch pen and then into an alley, into a squeeze chute. You need to have some way to handle each individual animal without getting hurt. If you're just getting into the stalker cattle business, you know, your local extension office can definitely give you some names of some guys that, that are running around like me doing large animal. Most places either have a protocol written up or they can type you up a quick vaccine protocol. The vaccines that we use in cattle are over the counter, so they can be bought either from catalogs or from your veterinarian. Whether you're vaccinating, deworming, you know, treating an animal for pink eye, you can call your veterinarian and they'll come out and probably gladly do it. Um, it's not rocket science, it's really not that hard. Once you watch he or she do it a handful of times, you can probably treat them on your own. Now places where you need a, a relationship with your veterinarian, one would be parasite control, just as far as picking which product at which particular time. You know, because you don't want to be throwing all kinds of drugs at them all the time. You know, you want to use drugs when they need to be used. That's where a veterinarian can really help you. Um, if you run into a lot of health problems, if you're having a lot of sick cattle, and you're treating them and they're not getting better or they're dying or something like that, um, that's where a veterinarian can really come in handy too. And just, you know, strategic choices as far as deworming and marketing options, you know, where to sell your stalkers and when. As your operation grows, that's more where a veterinarian can really be a hand. As producers and as animal caregivers, it's our obligation to look after these animals. So if they're kept comfortable, if they're well fed, if they have ad access to adequate, clean, cool water, um, they will pay dividends. They'll grow, they'll prosper, and they'll be healthy. <laughs>